Hi everybody and welcome to the Carpool Honcho. My name's Dean Payne from the Crate Flexible Office Space. I'm Rory from Naked Marketing. And today's Carpool Honcho guest is Jason Alexander. He's a business broker from Link. Woohoo! Yeah. So good to have you here, Jason. Well, thank you. Good to have you, Jason. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, come on, let's, let's get started. Today's podcast is driven by our friends at Albany Toyota. And we are fed by our mates at Sal's Pizza. And our tunes are brought to you from the, the Sound Store. Hey, Jason, I normally ask our guests um, what song gets you up in the morning. But um, this morning I'm going to ask you the same thing. But I know that you've got a bit of a talent there and you play guitar. So yes, you're going to do right. an unplugged version for us? Yes. What's, What's your, your favorite, favorite guitar sing-along song? Uh, so today I'm going to play Brown Eyed Girl by Van Morrison. Yeah, Van Morrison! Have yeah. a sing along with us, everybody. Let's go. Come on. First time ever on the Carpool Rock Show. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey, where did we go? The days when the rains came. Down in the hollow. Played a new game. Laughing and a running, yeah. Skipping and a jumping. In the misty morning fog with a heart, a heart slipped out brand new. My brown eyed girl, you're my brown eyed girl. Do you remember when, when we used to sing? Sha la 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 just like that. La 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 <laughs> mate, that is the ultimate campfire song, oh, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, oh, you have campfire so nights with your kids, mate. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, do you tell them jokes around the fire? I've got a joke for you that you can tell them. <laughs> you want to hear it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right. So, how do you get Pikachu onto a bus? How? You Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, I've got another one for you that my oh, kids yeah. love. Oh, good. Go. Yeah. So there's a bear and a rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> and they're doing a poo in the forest. Oh. <laughs> you had to go there. Didn't yeah, you? I did. <laughs> and the bear turns to the rabbit and says, "Do you have problems with with poo sticking to your fur?" The rabbit goes, "No." So. The bear picks up the rabbit and wipes his bum with him. <laughs> that is dirty, Jason. Yeah. Oh. I need a joke, guys. You are a joke. <laughs> we don't need a joke from you. Righty ho, Jason Alexander. Let's flip the lid. Who are you, mate? Yeah. Yeah. So um, I was originally born in the Netherlands. Um, also lived in Norway for a while, and now New Zealand. Uh, I've also spent a bit of time in China, so know quite a few different languages. You've been uh, around, mate. Yeah. So, so language. Yeah. So especially Dutch and some Norwegian and English. Oh yeah. And, you know. So yeah. so greet our guests in, in Dutch, there, please, Jason. Yeah. Hello, how are you, mate? Oh yeah, I'm good, thank you. Cheers, mate. Yeah, all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Um, and I've also got uh, three children. Um, oh, yeah. Their names are Lucas, Sophia, and Heidi, and they're ten. And the, the girls are twins, and they're almost eight. And twins. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, kitties. Hello. Your dad's Dad's on TV. TV. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Jason, um, you've got something I don't have that I've always wanted, and that's a few letters behind <laughs> my name. I'm on that boat. <laughs> They and say yeah. surround yourself with people that are brainier than you. We've yeah, done exactly that today. <laughs> Thank you. So you also got a lot of um, life experience and good business experience. Tell us a bit about those things there. Yeah, yeah. So I've I've um, got a master's in first uh, in, in economics with first class honors. Wow. Um, and I also did a bachelor's with first class honors in economics wow. and finance. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then um, should we stop and pull over and leave? Do it. <laughs> you can just chat. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then in terms of uh, work, I've uh, worked in the finance industry, especially in um, private and commercial banking. Uh, I've also worked 
um, in the consultancy, economic consultancy area, wow. uh, and also the economic risk uh, management um, sectors. So, yeah, I've done quite a bit, and then um, I decided to go into business myself as well, yeah. um, which have, is what I've been doing for quite a while. And now um, I, I really want to help others get into business as well, and and um, you know help them thrive as entrepreneurs. Good man. So cool, Good man. man. Now we've known each other for a number of years. That's and right. I say that because he's a credible guy. <laughs> um, he's a very smart cookie. He's a great business person, built some very successful businesses. Um, and you know, the fact that we're here, you know, four or five years later in the car just shows that, you know, you're a man of good relationships, which I, which I think is so important when you're doing brokering and selling, right? Yes, so right. let's talk about brokering for a second. What is a business broker and why would you use one? Yeah, so um, a business broker connects buyers and sellers in the market. So um, a business broker can um, obviously help facilitate that. Mm -hmm. um, there's also two key things that a business broker uh, can help business owners with them, which is also the two key fears that we find business broker that, that um, business owners have, which is um, one the, around confidentiality mm -hmm. and two around leaving money on the table. Right. So, um, in terms of um, the confidentiality, it's around uh, keeping keeping you know uh, keeping the business going yeah. without upsetting or the relationship with your suppliers and with your customers, yeah. as well as your staff. Staffs because yeah. otherwise your business could Point start. Asset. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, your business. And I mean, when you sell a business, you want it to have good continuity, right? And yeah. you need your team to stay in there and stay settled and and not bail ship. So if yeah. we deal with a broker, we're dealing with someone who's really, really switched on when it comes to the processes, mm. right, of, of selling a business and doing it in a real professional way. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's right. So this is a massive topic. But so what's yeah. the next fear though? You mentioned Yeah, so, so um, the other one is around um, leaving money on the table. So that's mm. where a business broker comes in as well, just pricing the business right so it's not too low and money's left on the table or too high mm. that your business can't actually sell. Um, and also another key thing um, that business brokers do is around, um, uh, you know, making sure that um, the the buyers that come in that you don't just release your information just to anyone, yeah. you know. So it's got to be uh, qualified buyers. That's again where business brokers come into so it as well. So making sure that they're people that have the right finance, that they have the right yeah. skills, the That's right know-how, um, that they are passionate about it. So yeah. yeah. So we just make sure, and then they also sign. Um, you know, a, a very sort of airtight non-disclosure agreement to make cool. sure that that confidentiality is not nice. So good. don't just go throw your business on Trade Me. Yeah, <laughs> that's run right. into a lot of problems. That's just, right. You know, you yeah. got to think that through. You don't know what you don't know. So that's go right. with somebody like yeah. this. Mm. Um, tell us why people are selling their businesses. What are the reasons people are doing it? Yeah, so I mean, there's a the whole raft of reasons. Um, yeah. I mean, one big one, uh, especially with the baby boomers coming through, it's the um, the wanting to retire. Time. So there's, there's people that, that want to, to do that. Um, there's also a whole lot of other reasons. Maybe people have um, you know, done it for a long time and want to get into something else. Oh, yeah. um, their passion might not be in it anymore, yeah. and uh, which wouldn't be good for the business. So it's no. time to, to pass it on to someone else. Um, and then, yeah, there, there might be a whole other raft of other reasons. They might want to move somewhere else. Um, maybe they've, you know, run into some health problems or, you know, so. I just yeah. want to add in there that, you know, one thing that really bugs me is I meet people that have been employed in the same job for eons and eons and they hate their job. I'm yeah. Like, Go change it. Yeah. And I think that often people get so stuck in their ways and think that they can't change. That's right. Same if you're in business, right? Mm, Nothing exactly worse than, bu than buying yeah. a business and buying yourself a job that you don't like. Yes. Change it. Yeah. And maybe it's a matter of just getting buying buy, buying a new business, selling That's the right. one you got and buying a new one. And somebody yeah. else talk to like Jason. Job, baby. Good idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I guess the big one is how much is my business worth, and how do I word that yeah. out, mate? Yes. How yeah. Much? So um, I mean at. Link, we have lots and lots of data to support this. We've we've sold thousands and thousands and thousands of businesses all up and down the country in diff different geographic locations, cool. different so industries, good. sectors, um, and uh, also Link being the biggest both in New Zealand and Australia, we have a lot of data to back mm. that up. Yeah. Um, and uh, so from that, we, we can figure out, uh, we have a very robust tool to be able to figure out what businesses would be worth. Cool. Um, and we also know 
the multipliers in the different sectors. So we understand all of that. Mm. Um, and, and that's really where a business broker comes into it Brilliant. because we have all that knowledge and know-how making sure that we're pricing that. So someone jumps right on way. YouTube and how do I value my business and it's three times net profit no? <laughs> so no, so it all just depends on what industry you're in. Um, you know, it, it might be different, there's different approaches in terms of what you should look at and what, what figures you should multiply what by. Um, also whether um, you need to add certain things back or, you know, all that kind of stuff. So there's yeah. quite a bit of work that goes into valuing a business and, and coming up with a, a fair market value of what what people would and at the end of the day, if you don't get that part right, number one, you're probably going to leave money on the table. That's right. And B, it could take you forever to sell your business. You That's just right. priced it wrong. Yes. Well, yeah. well, off that, then. So, if I want to sell my business tomorrow, how long is it going to take me to sell my business and get my money in the bank? Yeah. So, um, what we typically find, if the business is, is priced right, is that from end to end, we could sell that business maybe between four and six months. Really? Yeah. It's nothing. Yeah. Wow. And sometimes even quicker. Sometimes it could happen in two months. Wow. Yeah. And that's all got to do with the, the buyers that we have, yeah. um, you know, and, and creating that sense of urgency mm. and that sense of competition. And because <clears throat> if, if you don't have create that, then if there's just one buyer, then it creates, you know, mm. but if you mm. have lots of interested okay. parties, then. So you're talking about the buyers, what about the sellers? Have they, have they got some responsibility in what they do to ensure their business sells quickly as well? Like, how does that work? Yes, yeah. So um, it's important that you get everything organized and sorted in your business, that it looks good. Yeah. So, for example, you need to have good, clean financials. Yeah. And um, How many we, years work? Like, you know, often they talk about sort of going back a couple of years and just tidying things up. What would you recommend? Yeah, so, um, I mean, in terms of it's the financials that we also use to, to for, for the market appraisal in terms of the, the value yeah. that we do require three years. but. Yeah. Um, in terms, so yeah, I mean, you should start doing it now. I was if you say about uh, three years is important, right? Yeah, yeah. So you should get good, clean financials now. So, and but also be able to explain things. We can add stuff back, and we can explain stuff to buyers. So yeah. if there's a one-off expense, um, yeah, or, or a one-off write-off or anything, then that can all be explained. Drink lattes, <laughs> yeah, <that kind> of <laughs> stuff. And what about my broken wall in my foyer? Do I need to fix that before I'm um, trying to sell it? Yeah, Practical yeah. Things? So it's it's really important that the business looks good. You know, Ooh, that it's not yeah, unkept, yeah. that not things aren't broken. So yeah. it's important to fix all the things that are broken. Mm. Um, if the if if the walls look not very good you might need a new fresh coat of paint. You know, so it's important to get your business looking good. Okay. That it's. And I guess at the end of the day, the most important thing the buyer wants to know is, will this business survive without the owner? Yeah, without that that's right. Number one person, that's, or that's right. That husband and wife. That's so right. I guess systems. Yes, that's right. So it's it's really important that um, this that it's well documented the different mm. systems and processes that they have. Um, you know, so um, it's it's really good if if a business looks like it could run without their owner mm, yeah. because then a new owner would go well have i can do that right? they'd have confidence yeah. to be able to yeah, run that business. Yeah. yeah mate it's been such an so awesome good, chat man. eh? Yeah. awesome so such different. a great topic thank you, right? thank you jason hey, thank you Thanks, now we've got a good giveaway it's a uh, a book called built to sell tell oh, yeah. us about that book mate yeah so built to sell is exactly about what that last point that i just made which is Build, building up the business so that it can run without the owner there. So that's that's what it's cool. Sweet. The, the so watch sweet. the show, like, share, comment, and you go into the draw to win this book. Bring nice. it on. Yeah. And thank you so much, Jason, once thank again. You. And thank you to our sponsors. Woo! The Crate Flexible Office Come Space. <laughs> Naked Marketing. The Sound Store New Market. Thank you so much. Toyota New Zealand, thank you for the wheels. The <laughs> and then also sells pizza for feeding my tummy. Thank you guys. Have a good week, okay. everybody. Thank Woo. you.